Alright guys, welcome back to another video and if you ever want to make a program like Instagram or just want to make some cool photo filters then this is probably going to be one of the most important tutorials because I'm going to show you guys how to take Pillow and use it to pretty much break up your image into separate channels. So again, programs like Instagram and any uh, like photo editing program uses this all the time. So let me go ahead and explain exactly what's going on for those of you who may not understand. Now whenever computers display images, they don't display things like we just look at them in real life. In real life you can like hold your hand two inches away from your face and you're not going to see any pixels or anything like that. However, whenever your computer displays images, let me just zoom in right here, you can see that every single image is actually made up of these tiny things called pixels. Now it's pretty much a bunch of individual boxes but when you zoom out it looks like a whole picture. Simple enough, you guys probably already know what a pixel was. Now the thing I want to explain is this. Each one of those pixels is actually made up of three colors. See right now this looks like, I don't know, like a hundred different colors but each of these boxes are just a combination of three colors mixed together with various amounts red green and blue now actually in Photoshop if you click on channels you can see that that's all this image is this is the red this is the green and this is the blue now you guys are like yeah right that's just black and white for all of them I'm not a idiot well the black whenever we click on one of these channels it symbolizes how much red is in this channel, how much green is in this, and how much blue. Now whenever we combine this much blue with this much green and this much red, that's when we get this picture right here. So again, that's kind of key to remember. Every single image is made up of three different colors and it's pretty much saying this is how much of each color you add to get your whole image. Actually, let me show you guys this. If you took this image and took out the red, then of course you would only have green and blue if you took out the green that's why I have like this purple because it's only red and blue so on and so forth alright so I guess that did take a little more than 60 seconds I lied but now that we understand that let's go ahead and learn how to use pillow to take that image and break it up into these individual channels because right now I'll just show you guys um, how to do it and how to display them but later on I'm going to show you guys how you can take these channels and tweak them to either edit the contrast or make some cool old school effects, stuff like that. So the first thing we need is, actually let me show I probably should explain this. Now 99% of the images on your computer, or I'll say like 95% of them are going to be made up of three channels, red, green, and blue. However, sometimes people have images that are CMYK and those are made up of four colors because those are better from like printing things in real life. But in order to determine first that you actually are working with image made up of three colors, red, green, and blue, what you can do is you can just print out the mode of your image. And you can see whenever I run this, it prints out the mode. So this JPEG right here is RGB it means it is indeed made up of three and uh, most of the time it is so you don't really have to worry about that but I felt like if I didn't tell you guys then you know people would complain so so now that we verified that this image is indeed made up of three channels let's go ahead and split them apart so the function to split them apart is of course call your image and call the function split now what this function does is it actually returns a tuple so it's going to return three values and we're going to store those values in the variables R, G, B. So again it's going to return three values. The first value we're going to store in the variable R, the second one G, and the third one B. Simple enough. So what these are are actually these channels. So it's going to return this for R this for G and this for B. So if you don't believe me, check this out. If you go down and you just hit R show and run this, then it's going to show you that red channel. 
and you can actually do this for green and blue too. So now I'm going to show my green one, and now I'm going to show my blue one. And actually, I kind of like doing this. I like to close out all of these and run these all at the same time because it just looks cool in Photoshop. R G B. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so cool. It's actually probably kind of stupid, but I think it's kind of cool. So again, now we have pretty much three separate images created or three image objects. One is the red channel, one's the green channel, and one's the blue channel. So now we can do cool things like, um, well, actually, I'll show you guys something really cool in the next tutorial because I'm kind of running out of time. Don't want my file to get too big. So, uh, well, the next tutorial is going to be awesome. I'll see you then.